Thorn and Liberty's 5 best and easiest ways to get that epic purple gear once you hit a level 50. If that's what you're after, today I have you covered. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus a lucent every couple of days. To win it's as simple as this. Hit that like button on this video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick a winner from the comment section of this video and my previous videos and announce them on tomorrow's Shrona Liberty video. So good luck everybody. So I posted a video a few days back now of almost every way in this game of where you can get that epic purple endgame gear. Now there are 15 plus ways to do so, if you missed that video find it on my channel down below. But today guys I bring you what in my opinion are the 5 easiest methods you can get that epic gear once you hit a level 50 or even before. So if you're at a point now where you're still wearing blues and looking for ideas, you've leveled up your blues in regards to their traits and so forth, and now it's time to progress to purples, uh, once you hit a level 50, there's a few ways you can actually get easy gear, and that's what I bring you guys today. So this is pre-level 50 dungeon runs, yes you can get some great loot from those level 50 dungeons, but you're probably at a point in your progression now where you need those purple epics to just give you that extra bit of power and defense so you can actually hold your own in those level 50 dungeons. So yes, although you can get epic gear from level 50 dungeons, level 50 dungeons is not on my list of easy ways to achieve epic gear. So if you're at a point now where you don't know what to do next, today's video guide will give you five easy epics. Some guaranteed, uh, and these are, like I said, the stepping stone from blues to bring you up to par in that next line of progression before you start to farm for that S tier gear. So let's go. Okay, so first up guys, we have the precious epic chests. So I was searching initially high and low for an epic bow and epic daggers. That's what I'm using, bow and daggers. Uh, I was at a stage where I was using blues, but I wanted purples um, to just progress onto. And within the space of more or less two hours, guys, I got my very first epic weapon. And it's actually quite, quite easy to do. So how do you do it? Well, what I did was I spent 1500 contract coins with a contract coin merchant found within a few towns around the map. In his inventory, if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see a precious epic chest, which rewards you a choice of the containing epic items. So yes, if you purchase this, you can pick a weapon of your choice. But like I said, it costs 1500 contract coins, which does seem like a rough time, but actually it really is not. So if you go to um, the village of Kanina and you go to Olin, who is the contract manager here, her contracts reward you 30 contract coins per completion. That basically means all you have to do is 50 of her contracts. Now the contracts you pick up from her can be real easy to do, where you head to certain parts of the map, take out certain enemies, or loot a certain area for three different materials, etc, etc. These are basically the best contracts you can do here. Now what I recommend you doing here guys, if you do do this, basically try and get the contracts which take part within the same area, same enemy types like orcs or wolves, etc, etc. But it really isn't hard to do because when you pick up a single contract from her, you can refresh her stock, rotate in natural contracts till you get the ones you want in that certain particular area. Now, in doing this, you need to make sure you have at least 50 of those contract rights, otherwise you'll be limited to 10 per day. But they do stack by the way, so if you leave these for 5 days, you'll get basically 50 contract rights. It's as simple as that. But once you do accumulate 1500 contract coins, that means you can go to the contract coin merchant and buy this epic chest, the precious epic chest, and pick a piece of gear you want. Now, it's literally 10 lots of 5 contracts here guys to do this, which can take you easily a couple of hours, even under that, and it's by far the quickest way I've seen in the game to get your first epic piece. Now, contract coins also come from uh, different contracts we'll talk about later on in the video, so yes, if you need more ways to earn contract coins because your contract rights are up, stay tuned. Okay, so another amazing yet easy way to earn epic gear is those weekly missions. So within your inventory, select the weekly missions and here guys, you can see four options per week of where you can indeed get that epic gear. Here though, it's a bit of randomness to what you actually get get in regards to that epic gear so the more here you complete the more of a chance you get of getting that one you want so you can see world co-op dungeons guild and pvp 
Here within these three challenges, complete these challenges within the space of the time period and you get to select one of the actual epic options that will appear in said challenges you have completed. Now if you only completed two of the selected weekly challenge, you can only pick up one of the two. But like I said, there's 12 options here. So yeah, if you complete all 12 of these challenges, you still only get to pick one epic from these. So that's something I think I made a mistake on my previous video. I thought you could select one from each uh, section, which would have been crazy, but you can't. The more challenge you do here though, the more of a chance you have of getting that one you want. But yes, you can only pick one from every challenge on this page. So once that weekly timer is up and you've done those challenges, don't try and spam pick these epics up because you just eliminate your option to pick up any other epic. So make sure you check out each one. Make sure you get the one and pick the one you want because you can only pick one, like I said, from the entirety of all the epics that are available on this weekly mission section. So do keep that in mind. Now, if you do not have a guild, guys, you can always join mine. It will mean you have to play on my uh, server, which is the Wind Whisper server. All details in the video description via my Discord. If you do want to come and join, let's slay together. I mean, the guild ones here are quite easy to Donating 10 lots of gold per hour is a simple and cheap way uh, to basically do this. Also, by donating resources too to earn that rep to fill in that challenge right here. Also, the co-op dungeons are probably an easy section to do here because you have to spend a set amount of those dimensional tokens. Uh, you get 900 per day, so it's quite easy to do over the course of a week for sure, but you should have some of these stacked up already. If you just want to run the level 20 dungeons over and over, this spends 120 per run upon you completing it, and it all counts towards your weekly missions. Now the resistance contracts too, like I said here, doing 50, as I mentioned earlier, will also get you that epic loot here at the same time. Or the mystic portals, 25 in total, so purchase the mystic keys from the contract coin merchant. That's basically 5 per day over the course of 5 days and you'll get this done. Find and locate those red fiery uh, balls around the map. They do appear on your map when you get close to them. Uh, once you trigger these guys, you can open up a portal somewhere within the vicinity. And if you find that actual portal within that vicinity, you get even more loot. But again, five of these per day over the space of five days will fill in the blank here to earn you the chance of an epic you want from the weekly missions. Please do keep in mind though the actual requirements for these challenges here upon you completing them. You won't get to select your actual epic piece until the weekly cycle ends. Okay, so another great way of getting a chance of getting those epics is by opening those precious blessing pouches. Now there are multiple ways of getting these. And although it's only a chance upon you opening these to get an epic, I mean I've opened quite a few now and I've got quite a few epics from them. But because they're so easy to actually get, I thought I'd definitely worth mentioning in this video. So the first way you can get these is from the shop, from the ornate coins section. Now ornate coins you get via finding those purple pages in and around the map and you also get them every couple of days via the mail. So you shouldn't be running out of these. Now the precious blessing pouches from the ornate coin shop you are limited to 15 per month and they do cost 45 ornate coins each. And they can also use your contract coins which you get for completing those resistance contracts. Use these with a contract coin merchant. They cost 200 and limited to one per day. It's a little steep, but hey, it is what it is. You can also get these guys from the Allied Resistance Forces contracts too. Now these contracts uh, require you to enter one of the open world dungeons to be completed, but are never really much of a problem. Now to get these, you actually have a chance for them to drop from the precious blessing pouches too. Uh, but you also get six per week from the Sundry's Merchant and they cost gold to buy, so not too bad at all. Uh, so you buy six actual lots of these. So when you buy the six, you open one and you get four of these Allied Resistance Forces contracts. So buying all six per week will mean six times four, which is 24 of these Allied Resistance Forces contracts um, that you'll be able to complete per week. Each one will reward you one of these patches. So that's pretty cool too. But for these guys, you also get the contract coins currency we mentioned earlier, which you can then use to buy the uh, precious epic chest. So yeah, keep that in mind too. So it's a win, 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 win. It really is. But you also guys from these Allied Resistance Forces contracts get the Abyss currency. So yeah, upon completing these, you get one per contract you complete. Now in total you need 40, so do 40 of the Allied Resistance Forces contracts and you'll end up with 40 of the Abyss 
currency which is pretty cool because this will allow you to purchase from any crafting vendor the precious epic equipment chests so 40 of these abyss currency for one chest which will allow you to then go and grab another or pick another epic item which is pretty cool guys and again the sundry's merchant although they're limited to how many you can purchase of these allied resistance forces contracts completing each individual one will give you an abyss currency you get 40 in total visit any crafting vendor and pick an epic chest and then select your epic reward now the actual uh, sundry's merchant will also sell the Tade or Tower Allied Resistance Forces contracts, these do not give you those Abyss tokens, so keep that in mind. Another way to actually earn, guys, epics is open world drops via RNG. So there's actual enemies you can farm for those epic drops, albeit super rare. Uh, in this regard but it's possible i'm seeing many many people each day getting plenty of epics dropping from the shadowed crypt this is the open world dungeon but it isn't just here which is home to enemies which can drop this epic gear there's quite a few places too the problem is it's knowing where to pinpoint that certain enemy which drops that certain epic you want you need to have a list of the epics which you can go through to decide which one you want now the lithograph is okay for this uh, to do this guys select an item that you want uh, press the button of scene or menus and select the obtain from option here and it will bring up a list of enemies or an enemy that drops that certain gear piece now another way to see the items and where they drop is from the auction house because it shows almost all of them even if none are up for sale simply go to the auction house select the category you want if the item isn't highlighted scroll down until you find it select up on it and press the item to show info and check where it's obtained from i mean most of these are going to be dropping from specific enemies during specific events and so forth uh, but they actually still drop it isn't too hard whatsoever i myself have actually had about 10 epics dropping from certain enemies now so they're definitely not as uncommon as you think now there is another way to earn quite easy uh, epic items and it's via using arena coins so via the arena that you unlock at a level 50 this is a 3v3 pvp at Activity. going into disguise and winning games you'll actually earn arena coins now i believe you are limited to six coins per week i don't play pvp to be honest so i can't confirm that but there is an actual arena merchant here we can purchase specific epic items from now although they ain't the best epic items in the game um, they definitely are in regards to progression better than certain blues but yes the actual arena merchant can be used to actually purchase these epic items they cost nine per one which again will take you over a week to claim these but at the end of the day guys if you're struggling for ideas in regards to epics this is another easy way to do these so enter the 3v3 arena activities make sure you are winning claim those actual arena coins and then you are good to spend these how you want and there we have it guys easy ways to earn purple gear once you reach a level 50 and well i hope the video helped you out if you did leave it a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one